time for a little party. It's time for a little party. You can have all them drinks upon me. You can have all them drinks on me. See the girls, them a whining for me. See the girls, them a whining for me. Them man, them a moving calmly. Good morning, welcome to today's video. So I have decided kind of spontaneously to try Project 50 for a day. I don't want to say I've been on a wellness journey because that makes it sound like I've been working on my wellness for like a really long time, which is not the case. I will say that I have been really into like health and like self-care lately. I mean, this honestly happened with me last summer too. And I think it's just because I don't really like summer. I'm not gonna lie, it's my least favorite season. So I feel like in the summer, I just really don't want to do anything. So I usually kind of keep to myself, but at the same time, I feel like because I don't have school, I'm like more focused on like my general well-being, which honestly I should be focused on that during school, but when I'm in school, it's like school is first and everything else is second. My Instagram explore page has constantly been videos and pictures of people doing wellness things or like healthy habits. And I've been saving a lot of these pictures and like videos, but a lot of them had the hashtag Project 50 and I was very confused. I thought Project 50 was something like a personal challenge. You know how people sometimes are like 50 days of going keto. Then the other day I decided to click on the hashtag and I was like, wait a minute, this is like an actual thing. Just grabbing my computer so I can explain what it is correctly. Project 50 is this challenge that was started by State of Mind Studios which is a UK company basically focused on like improving your state of mind and your well-being and like mental happiness. Literally is a project that there's seven daily rules that you have to follow and you have to follow the daily rules for 50 days consecutively. And if you miss a day, like if you don't complete all seven of the daily tasks on a specific day you have to start over back at one. What I really like about it is it's seven rules and they're pretty simple and flexible and you can make of them what you want. The general rules are number one, wake up before 8 a.m. and then it says but sleep six plus hours and try to maintain a consistent bed routine with enough sleep slash make this rule fit to your individual needs. Essentially like wake up before 8 a.m. but if that means you won't get six or more hours of sleep, don't do that. That's what I make of that rule. Rule number two, do your morning routine for one hour with no distractions, which means no phone, no social media. And then they said, if you have enough time, you could always meditate, go for a walk, or simply deep think and mentally prepare for the day. Rule three, exercise for one hour a day. And then it says exercise based on your fitness level and comfortability. So that includes walking, stretching, running, bike, gym, yoga, whatever. Rule four, read 10 pages a day. Read motivational, psychological, or business related books and educational books count. So if you have to read like a textbook for class, like that counts. Rule five, dedicate one hour towards a new skill. Prepare goals and anticipated skills before the challenge starts, which will be your prep phase. No distractions and high concentration while doing this one hour. Rule six, follow a healthy diet. Follow a diet of your choice. Also drink enough water. In parentheses, they wrote no alcohol, no soft drinks, and generally less sugar as an example like of a healthy diet. But obviously healthy and diets look different for everybody. Do what's best for you. Rule seven, 
track your daily progress in a journal. So write down positive and negative experiences, what you've learned and where you can improve. So that is project 50. So what I'm gonna do for today is I'm gonna try and follow those seven rules as best I can. Obviously you don't have to do them like in that specific order. For example, for me today, I woke up at 6.15. I signed up for a cycling class at the studio I work at at 7 a.m. We finished at 7.45. I got back here at like 8 a.m. I'm now eating my breakfast. So in prep for project 50, and because I knew I'd have to be up early, I made some overnight oats. And then I made myself some matcha because I've recently gotten into matcha and to save myself money and not go to Starbucks, I've been making it at home. So, so far I've done one hour of exercise. I am now in the stage of one hour of morning routine with no distractions. I've literally just been listening to music. <laughs> I put my phone on do not disturb. I'm gonna take a shower after I finish my breakfast and then I probably am going to make a to-do list. Welcome to the video. I hope you like it. If you've tried Project 50, feel free to comment down below like any recommendations, what you did, what you thought. Let's get our day started. Right now I'm like, on schedule to what I normally do on a day. I did already get my workout in and that felt really good to do early in the morning. Like I was very tired, but like the workout woke me up. Um, I've just been doing some work. Once I sat down at my desk, I was feeling really tired. I was like, I kind of want to take a nap, but it was still 10 a.m. And so I was like, I'm probably just tired because I'm not used to having like such an early morning workout. And I'm not used to that. I was like, that's probably why I'm feeling tired. But I was like, I don't want to take a nap until like later in the day when I really will need it because I was like I don't know it just feels weird to like take a nap at 10 a.m. I'm probably gonna eat lunch around 12 which is in like 40 minutes now but I am gonna take a post-it and put on the post-it like the seven steps for project 50 for today and then put that on my planner just so that I can keep track of like the seven steps and make sure I'm actually getting them done because I think I've gotten like two three of the things done because i did the morning routine wake up before eight and exercise so i've gotten three out of seven done And I'm ready for a new season to start. I'm so ready for summer. I'm so ready to bring all of my visions to life. I feel very inspired at the moment. It's like 3.18. I finish my therapy session. I'm like really tired now. So I might take a nap. I still need to do my one hour of like practicing a skill. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I've had a productive day. But at the same time, I feel like I've done nothing. What's up, party people? I'm about to be backlit, so don't mind that. It's 4.45, so I'm probably gonna do my French learning like, after dinner, because um, I'll probably have to go to the store and get toilet paper, but then I think after dinner, I will do my hour of French learning. The reading I'll probably do before bed, and then I think the only other task that I have to do today is the journaling and that's like the very last thing i'm gonna do is basically like reflecting on my day and like how i think it went the other thing too is like eating healthy 
but for me i said that like eating healthy is balanced diet um this morning i had protein because i had overnight oats and I, i'm pretty sure those have protein in them and then i had a salad for lunch so i got my serving of veggies and then for dinner i'm gonna have my leftover steak with teriyaki sauce couscous which is starch and then i have broccoli so i definitely didn't get my serving of fruit today unfortunately. It is the next day. It is Thursday morning. I finished up my Project 50 daily tasks yesterday. I just didn't vlog a lot last night. The last two steps I did like right before I went to bed, which was the journaling, my reflections, and then after that I read my book. So I wanted to just go through my reflections from Project 50 on the Project 50 Instagram and on the website, like for step seven which is like the journal your progress you're supposed to do positive negatives things you learned and room for improvement so i'm just going to read through what i wrote for positives i wrote that i got to get my day started early by waking up before 8 a.m another positive i had which goes along with this is i finished my day early evening which left plenty of time for me to unwind and take time getting ready for bed. I personally am someone who's like more productive during the daytime, but like I hate waking up early. Like I hate the act of getting up early. Like once I'm up, I'm up, which is a good thing. That was kind of like a positive is that like I finished my day in the early evening. Like realistically yesterday, I would have been done with my day by like 5 p.m which to me is ideal because like I said, I'm someone who's more productive during the daytime. I still didn't go to bed really until midnight, but it was nice because it wasn't like I was in a rush to get to bed. I just had time to kind of unwind. The other positive I have was I got my morning workout back in my routine during the school year. I would work out in the mornings just because I would get so busy with class and club meetings and stuff that I just had to work out in the morning. And it's also nice because I just kind of like get that out of the way, I guess. Like, because I think if I save my workout till the evening, sometimes I'm more inclined to like cancel or not go. Like if I'm going to work out, I want to do it like either first thing in the morning to get my energy pumping or right before I go to bed so that afterwards I can just go to sleep. The other thing I had on here as a positive was less screen time. I didn't even realize that I wasn't really on my phone a lot. I wasn't on my phone as much just because like each of the tasks kind of requires that you're not on your phone. I still was on my computer a lot just because like my summer just requires me to be on my computer a lot because whether I'm editing YouTube videos, Zoom meetings for my internship, my therapy session was online, when I was doing the Duolingo stuff that was on my computer. So I did have a lot of like screen time overall, but I think significantly less on my phone. I also felt weirdly energized throughout the day and I felt very happy. I only had two negatives. I did put in the negative that I felt pretty tired around 10 a.m. and I almost wanted to take a nap. I think like that might have just been because I had worked out. That might have also been because I definitely got like just six hours of sleep. And like part of Project 50 is, yes, you're supposed to get up before 8 a.m., but make sure you get six or more hours of sleep. Another negative I had, it was tough to get up early. I think like the getting up early, like once you keep doing it, I think it gets easier. So those are my positives and negatives. For what I learned, I put that there are several simple ways in which I can improve my well-being, be more productive, and solidify a routine that works for me. Like I said, one thing I really like about this project is it's seven daily tasks, and the daily tasks are not that daunting. I like about the seven tasks is some of these I've already been implementing in my daily routine. I definitely do not do these seven steps during the school year, but like I do do them over the summer because I have more time and I'm more focused on like my well-being and like what I'm doing. 
Whereas in the school year, I'm just like school, 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 school. It's not like I have to undergo this whole like transformation and like summer reset. Like these are literally seven tasks that I did not mind doing at all, were not difficult. And it like significantly, as I read in the positives, like increased my energy, my day, and just like my well-being. And then the other thing I said that I learned is this was an easy way to keep me stimulated and motivated. For improvement, I wrote a couple of things. <laughs> so I wrote for improvement that I would need to plan, organize, and personalize each of the steps to what I want to achieve and what works best for me so that I'm doing what's best for me. That is my trying Project 50 for a day. I really enjoyed it. I'm excited to see where it takes me, but I will probably make a playlist on my YouTube channel titled like Project 50 um, because like I said, I'm planning on trying this for a week and then I think I'm actually going to stick to the like 50 days during the school year and you can watch the other videos as they come out. Um, and I don't know if you're doing Project 50 or if you decide to try it out, like comment down below your thoughts, what you did. I'd love to know. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I will see you all in my next video. Bye. You're beautiful.